All right, guys, I'm going to make this video as short as possible so that you guys can get in the air and blow up AI spaceships as quickly as possible. I will not be going over every single button because there's literally a metric fuck ton of buttons that you can assign. And as you go through them, you will often find that three or four of them will accomplish the same goal. So I will point out 90% of the main buttons that you will use in flight and in dogfights. And later you can come back and skim through the rest if you want to further refine control over your weapon system. All right, so first of all, if it's your first time using these Thrustmaster sticks, you're going to need to install their target software to get all the buttons properly recognized by Windows. I also personally modded my left hand thruster controller with what most people would call a 50% detent. It's pretty easy, but I'm not going to get into that now because there's plenty of other good videos on the topic already. I'll link one in the description below. All right, so let's get to it. To do this as quick as possible, we're going to go straight into the keybinds menu. Once you go to the advanced menu, switch over to joystick HOTAS, select your controller. First setting we're going to find is a vehicle operator mode. The most important one here is missile operator mode. This is basically going to switch between your main gun and your rocket. So you put that on any button you wish on the joystick. Next, we're going to scroll down to the vehicle cockpit. Here we have the options to open and close doors, lock doors. I like to set these to buttons on the base of the joystick. That way they're available, but they're out of the way. And they're perfect for impressing your friends as you go and pick them up, etc. Then we jump into the next menu, view menu we're gonna cycle camera view i like to put it accessible as well so i put it on the big orange button on my throttle stick that would be button one from input two and then we can head over to flight movement one of the most important parts here first off i like setting my roll to the floppy paddles on the back of the thrust as that would be axis of rotation input two after that we're gonna set strafe on the joystick that's on under your index finger that would be allow you to strafe up and down left or right like basically the directions that you can't do forward and back thrust while we're here we want to make sure that throttle forward and back is on the same button and is on the z axis for input two because this is going to give us power for both, for both directions and then moving down the list we get to decoupled mode which is something i like to put on the button right beneath our middle finger you can set it as up or down and the other toggle that i use on this button is for vtol which, which we will see later on as we scroll further down right beneath that one we have boost which i like to set on the pinky button and which is the first orange button from the left and slider limiter absolute is absolutely crucial we are going to set that on the wheel so that we can adjust it on the fly. This is important for both being maneuverable speeds while in a dogfight. I honestly find myself using this a lot. Scrolling a bit further down the list, we get to the space break, which we want to put on the button that is under our ring finger, right next to the button for boost. The reason I put this here together is because I can just squeeze both of these fingers together, which comes very naturally, and that will give me the most amount of braking power that the ship has available. Further down, like I mentioned, we have toggle veto mode, which we put on the button that we didn't use for toggle couple mode. Lastly, on the sub menu, we have request landing that is going to be on the base of our joystick somewhere. I like it to be a prominent button because this is what opens hangar doors and also requests landing. So you literally use this every time you get on your ship. Next, we are going to go to the vehicle target cycling menu. We're going to go to the cycle lock in view forward and right under that under reticle as well. We're going to set both to the same button. I chose to set it to one of the D-pads clicking forward. Scrolling down, we get to the flight radar menu here we have the activate ping button which i put on a button that is opposite of the target lock this is very useful for seeing mountains and detecting radar signatures that you don't already have locked on we go to the vehicle weapons menu here you want to make sure that your fire weapon all is assigned to button one scrolling further down we get the vehicle missiles here you're going to want to make sure that your launch button is set to the button one which is your only trigger and then you choose which button you want the cycle next missile type to you also want to assign something on the hat to increase the number of missiles and to decrease because you can actually lock and launch several missiles at the same time moving on down into the next menu shields and countermeasures is going to be very important for your flights because you want decoys and noise to be able to be deployed quickly i set these to one of the buttons on my d-pad so you can choose whichever one you prefer and then moving on down to the vehicle power triangle assignment here you're going to want to emulate the same power triangle that is in game fortunately we have a row of six buttons that we can effectively make a little triangle and in the middle we have reset power assignment and get a perfect three-way split between all three pretty much the default when you jump into the ship you want to have that quickly and easy to set i don't think you want to be graduating up and down you kind of just want to mash that button and keep flying but yeah there's a lot more buttons as you can see that you can get into and start getting into the nitty-gritty there's a lot of extra buttons that are left blank so that people could just get in here and quickly get a decent setup for flying in star citizen and just get out there and have fun and then further refine what they think is going to work best what they think they're missing what they want more if something they use more they want to change it etc etc but anyways i hope this helped you guys out i hope this was short enough to be useful and i hope to see you guys out there peace out everyone